The Bible prophesies that a sinister figure will emerge as the end times approach. This evil being will become known as the Antichrist. He will be the ultimate opponent of Jesus Christ when he finally reappears. The Antichrist is the son of Satan. Like Christ, he will come into the world from the womb of a woman. This half-man, half-demon being will disguise himself among other men, awaiting the final judgment. At first, it will be difficult to recognize the son of the devil because he will show no hint of his true origin and even less of his intentions. His strength will become even greater the less men believe in Satan's power. While God says in Exodus, I am he who is, the Antichrist claims, I am he who is not. Looking for the Antichrist among men on the basis of signs of wickedness will be a fruitless search. The son of Satan can perform the greatest acts of benevolence, only to disguise his ultimate goal, to ruin the Creator's work. The Antichrist uses his influence to convince men that there is no kingdom of God and that the only world is the one we live in. By denying the existence of heaven, he will convince men without true faith in the Creator that hell does not exist either. Hence, men, not fearing hell, will become an easy target for the devil's temptations. The Antichrist will become stronger and more influential as the final judgment approaches. He will become a major public figure, and his words will garner millions of souls into Satan's ranks. Satan's son will proclaim the right to absolute freedom, for by denying heaven and hell, the idea of good and evil will also be denied, making everything permissible. All values preached in the Bible would be disavowed as dogmas of a corrupt church, making man's development impossible by shackling him. The Antichrist will have remarkable qualities. He will be an intellectual genius with great oratorical ability. His political talent will make him remarkable in scope. A new religion will be born under Antichrist's headship. This new creed will deny that Jesus as the prophesied Messiah. It will claim that he is the one true and only Messiah. Christ's opponent will have the power to rule over all nations and establish a world religion. Some say the devil's influence will even reach the throne of St. Peter in Rome. The church will be used to try to crush the true faith. Like wolves disguised as lambs, they will distort the words of the Lord to lead men away from God. The Antichrist will use ruses disguised as true miracles to take Christ's place. He will mark people with the number of the beast, 666. When the son of perdition reaches the apex of his power, and when many have bowed to his will, Jesus will finally return to save the souls of those who did not succumb to Satan's temptation. And that will be the beginning of the end times. The title of Antichrist has already been applied to several historical figures, such as Nero, Napoleon, and Hitler. But Luther, one of the leaders of the Protestant Reformation, outraged by the direction of the Catholic Church, claimed that the Pope works against Christ, making him an Antichrist. This statement is still supported by some followers of Protestant doctrines, who believe that the Antichrist will be one of St. Peter's successors. The term Antichrist has become commonplace and is used to describe all those who deny the divinity of Jesus, such as atheists, Jews, Muslims, etc. But according to tradition, the true Antichrist will appear where least expected. By the time his true identity is revealed, it will be far too late.